move in there. Right then. So, to show you um, one of the exercises in section two, which is two paws up on an item while your dog does either a sit to stand or a down to stand. Now, that item can be anything that works for your dog. It hasn't got to be really tall, it hasn't got to be really tiny. It's what works best for your dog. So, I have here a place board that Taylor's currently treading on, which is literally a decking board with carpet on top. It's nice and thin, as you can see, it's only just over an inch high. Um, which is absolutely great. It could be a phone book if your dog doesn't slip on that. <laughs> Cass, can you come out the way? What's that? Come on in. Good girl. Go find that. Um, or whatever works for you and your dog. As you've seen before, I use a lot of the conditioning equipment, but these work just as great. And initially, you want your dogs to get used to putting two paws at the start of the item. So that might literally be asking for paw if they're no paw. It might be luring them on, treating when you get that nice stand in that position. And in fact, just this position on its own is really, really good for older dogs because they're working on their back legs and on their core and on their back. And if you actually keep them in the stand and do lots of work, just lifting and lowering that head, that will actually start helping increase the muscle tone in their back legs for your dogs. But once they're used to being like this, as you can see, Taylor is very used to this, you can then either help guide them into the sit and then praise and then get back into the stand or ask for a down, down Taylor. Good boy and then again lure back into that stand position but you want to spend time first of all just getting them used to putting two paws on two paws off it might be the first few times you get one paw and that's where you get so you praise that you stop the exercise after a few repetitions come back to it another time and you'll find they'll start putting two paws on before very long as you can see I've got Merlin and Taylor both doing this just naturally because they've done a lot of it once they're used to having two paws on, two paws off, that's when you start either luring into a sit or into a down. Some dogs will go right backwards off to do the sitting down, which is fine, still praise that, but then lure them back on to get the stand part at the end of each one. And gradually they'll start realising actually it takes longer to step off than it does to stay on, and you'll get that first exercise where they're on that piece of equipment. Get that rewarding, get loads of praise in, and you'll find they'll start doing it more and more. If you want to then progress it to an unstable item, you can do something like the fit bones and the massage cushions if you so want to or the paw pods but place boards and um, boxes something like that are absolutely great to use Not nice height for your dogs if they can't step up too high don't make it too high especially if they're new to this and just starting out okay so that's to help you with your two paws on two paws off either with a sit to stand or a down to stand and we just want to see two repetitions of those okay